Until I met Mr. Tucker, I thought that art was only for the soft and for the delicate. He completely disabused me of that notion. Through Mr. Tucker, I began to understand that art was the expression of the soul of which we were all possessed, and each soul had its own beauty to be expressed. He thought of so many different ways and means of e expressing himself and letting others know the beauty of art. You know, he wouldn't have really seen me developing as an artist, but um, I always sort of wish he would have lived long because then I would have had like a mentor when I was painting when I was younger but he, I probably got the same advice that everybody else got in art class. I, I would say he was very good and he was very good for his time um, because you know his paintings were different from most other people's paintings at the time. See, he was bigger than life in so many ways. Um, very uh, outgoing, um, well, a person who knew all walks of life in Bermuda and was, I think, respected at all levels. When he came in, everyone smiled because he came in different from the other teachers. You know, he he just dominated the scene. He had a he had a real sense of physical presence. remember him when he would make certain statements in class to us or to get us to think uh, and you sort of wonder like what's he trying to say uh, he made you very reflective I guess in those days we probably didn't even know what the word reflective meant but uh, in retrospect now you think you know I know that he was trying to get us to appreciate um, ourselves and our country I think he inspired um, a generation, maybe several generations, um, to, to believe that they could be artists. He was the first. 